We have to give the Prime Minister credit for being so brazen, or as Belizeans would say, barefaced. The Prime Minister is really trying to take the Belizean people for fools. I must say that the Prime Minister is dead wrong. The Belizean people are no fools. They can smell the rankness of this deal for miles away. What the Prime Minister is saying is once again completely misleading and untrue. 60% of the money will come in a bank in Belize, probably Belize Bank. But no, that money is not government's money. And no, that money will not be controlled by government. It will be controlled by Ashcroft and his people. There is no government representative on this trust, no government representative on this account. Not even Dean Barrow is on this account. This is all Ashcroft's money. If it was government's money, then why would the government even have to pay Mr. Ashcroft? If it was government's money, then we should, be, we should only be paying the 40% or $200 million to Mr. Ashcroft and not over half a billion dollars. In effect, what the Prime Minister is saying is that he will ask the National Assembly to approve CAP2 projects in the budget. And then he has to go cap in hand and on bended knees to Mr. Ashcroft to beg for monies to fund these projects. This is truly an insult to the Belizean people and shows how far Dean Barrow would go to secure his third term in government. My friends, for a man who claims to be the beacon of transparency and accountability, the Prime Minister has disgraced himself and our nation.